in the name of God. Hello everyone, I'm Nilufa Alizadeh, presenter of this study. Title of our study is Damage Detection After the Earthquake Using Sentinel-1 and 2 Images and Machine Learning Algorithms. Uh, also our case study is Apple Zahab Earthquake. One of the most important applications of remote sensing is change detection. The general objectives of change detection are identifying the location of changes, types of changes, studying the impact of changes on the region, forecasting future change uh, trends. As you know, earthquake cause and massive changes which can be determined with appropriate speed and building collapse is one of the most uh, common causes of human fatalities during earthquakes. In general, for disaster relief missions, rapid identification of affected area is critical. Also, the quality of change detection result is influenced by sensor. First of all, optical images containing information about the spectral behavior of material are widely used in various fields uh, like natural disaster assessment. Secondly, in, res in recent years, the use of synthetic aperture radar or SAR sensors, which can gather backscattering pulses regardless of weather conditions or cloud cover, has been facilitated. And uh, we use both of uh, the da this data in our research. I've included some literature reviews in this section. Uh, like Khodaverdi et al., they propose an object-based uh, strategy based on artificial neural network to detect destructed building from high-resolution world view to satellite images after the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Their findings show that the purpose method could achieve an overall accuracy of 93%. After that, CIFA et al. They used uh, the pre and post disaster data of Sentinel 2 and Landsat 8 images from Dongola County in Indonesia to assess the changes after the earthquake. Their findings show that ANN and SVN algorithms can efficiently detect the changes since achieved accuracies were 63% with uh, Sentinel 2 and 85% with Landsat 8. Next research is Hamedi et al. They tested and implemented uh, an algorithm based on CNN, modified unit architecture, in, uh, in an ArcGIS environment to automatically detect uh, and map the uh, damage areas in a forestry area in Bavaria, Germany. The results uh, show an overall accuracy of 92 in their uh, percent in their study area. Next research is Putri et al. They fused two uh, Sentinel of one and two data for building damage assessment mapping after the 2018 Lombok earthquake. They used two types of data like Sentinel of one, Sentinel of two, and the fusion of both data sets, and classified them with random forest and fused data provided uh, the highest overall accuracy value, 62% compared to single. According to the mentioned study, uh, studies, the following important points have received less attention from our uh, researchers. Most researchers only use a single source of remote sensing data, such as optics images, and uh, discard, um, discarded the ability of other sensors, uh, such as radar images. Most of the proposed methods only consider the damage, uh, damaged buildings as the critical change class while detecting the debris area, especially on roads, is another important issue discussed in uh, mention, uh, mentioned studies. The present study aimed to detect the changes in Sarpol as a hub city after the massive uh, 7.3 uh, magnitude earthquake in uh, 2017. Uh, this paper has two phases. In the first phase, motivated by the uh, efficiency of machine learning methods in change detection, a hybrid method is proposed based on optical and SAR images to detect the changes in urban area after uh, the earthquake. In the second phase, radar images are used to detect the debris area accurately. In Karmasha province at 2184 on November 21st, 2017, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.3 occurred about uh, 37 kilometers uh, northwest of Sarpol Zahab city. This earthquake severely damaged the rural and urban areas of Kermansha. C uh, cities and villages suffered more casualties and damage as uh, we 
approached uh, Sarpol Zahov, so the most damage was observed there, which you can see its location in figure 1. In this study, we used the Sentinel-1 SAR and Sentinel-2 optical images to detect the changes uh, that occurred af after the earthquake in Sarpol Zahov. Table 1 provided more information about the applied data set, uh, like Sentinel of 1 and 2 uh, for GRD and SLC format and their track is uh, descending uh, with a relative orbit of uh, 6 and uh, 92. Some basic pre-processing steps uh, were performed on Sentinel of 1 star images in a SNAP software such as geometric correction, radiometric correction and spherical filtering. For the Sentinel-2 sensor uh, with terzin uh, spectral bands, level 2A images are produced after pre-processing the level 1 images, level 1 C. SNAPS uh, uh, sent to core algorithms used for atmospheric corrections, radiometric and geometric correction also are applied, finally, according to the different uh, spatial resolutions uh, in different bands, bands uh, with 16 meter spatial resolution are resampled to 10 meter resolution. As an important note, it should be ensured that all images are georeferenced. About our methodology, as uh, stated earlier, the proposed method has two phases. In the first phase, named uh, generated changes map, change detection maps of urban landscapes are generated using optical and SAR images. In the second phase, Name generate debris map. We uh, proposed a method based on SAR images to detect the debris, especially on roads. Figure 2 depicts the flowchart of uh, the purpose method. According to figure 2, in the first stage, uh, we propose process uh, both sources of uh, remote sensing data set by temporal sentinel of 1 and 2 images. By using the generated uh, grand truth map, initial two class classified images urban non-urban of each source of data are generated by four supervised classification methods SVM, random forest, multi-layer neural network or MLP and uh, con nearest neighbor or uh, con n it seems that uh, by using the multiple uh, classifier systems more accurate results um, have been reached in the third stage the voting fusion technique is applied to generate the final classified images of pre and post earthquake for each data source. In the fourth stage, a post classification technique is used to generate the change maps of each data source. Generated change maps of uh, each data source are fused by and a operation for uh, a fuzzy operator, operator to generate the final change maps on the urban area. Although Final change maps of a uh, previous phase uh, show the appropriate accuracy in the urban area. It seems a complement uh, phase uh, should be development developed to detect uh, debris accurately. Detection of debris after the earthquake, especially on roads, played an important role in emergency. The phase only uses the Sentinel. Um, this phase only uses the Sentinel One data sets uh, and has the following four major stages as uh, shown in figure 3. In the first stage, uh, we propose by temporal Sentinel-1 images. In the second stage, we use uh, the simple ratio change detection method. A change map of rad radar images is generated from VB polarization. To converge uh, raster data into vector maps of changes, QGA software is used. We compare generated vector change map and uh, transport network uh, vector data to detect the blocked roads by debris. About our result and discussion, in this section, we aim to assess the result of our method in detecting the changes in the urban areas and road debris. To do so, for both evaluations, uh, we compared the generated results of this study with ESA products for evaluating uh, the first phase uh, of the proposed method, as shown in Figure 4. Based on the UNITAR UNOSAT product, the highest uh, rate of destruction was in the northwestern and central regions, which is good agreement with the map created in the, in the study. 
As stated earlier, in the second phase, a simple pixel-pixel based ratio method detects uh, the debris area and blocks the road from Sentinel-1 images. To validate this phase, generated map of debris uh, from the purpose method is uh, visually compared with the UN UNITAR uh, UNOSAT product provided by the ESA. Figure 5 uh, shows the generated debris map of the purpose method and the yellow lines uh, are, are the roads and the debris and um, the red dots include the debris created in the urban area. Finally, about our conclusion, in this study, a two-phase change detection approach is developed to assess the changes that occurred after the massive sample of the hover squared by satellite images. In the first phase of the purpose method, a hybrid voice classification approach is developed to detect the changes in the urban areas. In this phase, change detection maps of Sentinel-1 and 2 are combined at the decision level to produce the final change maps. The second phase of the purpose method uses um, the Sentinel-1 data sets and a simple ratio change detection method to produce the debris, ma debris map uh, more, more accurately. Finally, uh, final generated uh, maps are evaluated uh, visually with the generated damage map of ESA. The final result demonstrate the good agreement between the uh, produced uh, dam damage maps of proposed method uh, and ESA maps. At last, we can uh, conclude that remote sensing technology has the remarkable ability to detect changes uh, after an earthquake and using this technology can facilitate emergency as save lives. And there are all our references. Thanks for your attention.